Hello everyone there, I am Sitaris, otherwise known as the Jolly Roger, and I will be showing you how to use Pokepick and onwards.gba. Alright, first off, Pokepick is only compatible with Ruby and Sapphire. Alright, so first off we are going to change Venusaur into a Shaman. First off, we are going to export it into my desktop as my picture. Now we are going to open up my picture, open it in paint, we are going to make it bigger, and we are going to cover, color in Venusaur. This is necessary, I think. Yeah, pretty much it is very necessary. Alright, now that when it's completely gone, take a piece, or probably not that big, small piece, copy it, keep it open, but then open up your picture of the Pokemon you want it to be, if you need any sprites, just email me and I can send you pretty much any Pokemon sprite there is. Alright. Oh wait, no. We'll just do this. Paste that color in there. And there we go. Now we cut out the Shaman. Copy it. And we go over to my picture. And we paste it in there. It might alter it a little bit, but that's fine. Alright, so now we're going to import it as same, my picture, and there we go. It automatically creates a shiny version of it. But now, we are going to do the back pick. Now check the back pick and export. Also my picture. We are going to open it up again. Paint. Edit. Er, view, zoom, large size. Color in Venusaur again. And then we just take another sample, and we minimize it, and we open up a Shaman, you zoom, You might take a little bit of practice to get it completely. Then you just alter it to make it back there. Then file, save. It has to be the same file. Then we will close this. No, we will not save changes. And now we will import my picture. There we go. Now compress and write back to ROM. And there you go. Now you have a shaman. Alright, now we are going to do a Zelf in Arnold's Jot er, GBA. Now you won't start finding Pokemon pictures until about 700. So, yeah, then we will go to previous. And let's go with. Yeah, Venusaur again. Only this time, we are going to turn it into a Zelf. Alright, so. Now, what we do is we save as. We will save it as. V. 
Venusaur. Uh, I think that's how you spell it. Oh well. And we will save it. And now we will... Oops. Saved it to the wrong location. <laughs> Not Elite Map. I want it to Desktop. Venusaur. Save. And now we will open up Venusaur and paint. And you pretty much do exactly what you did before. You just color it in and then edit out your other picture to look just like it with the same background color and you just import it same way you would use with Pokepick. Only this one is what you would use for the uh, leaf green and fire red. If you wanted to hack those. Alright, so now we have a Zelf. We will large size it. Now this is a little bit bigger, so it might turn out wrong. But it works generally. Oh well, it got slightly altered. Doesn't matter too much. It's better than not having it. And now you import it the same way you usually would. And there we go. Doesn't look too terribly bad, but... And now, if you want to change the name of your Pokémon, you would want to open up Pokétronic. And I will just open up the... Where is it? I'll open up Pokemon Ruby, and for instance, if I wanted to edit out Pidgey and turn it into, say, a Starly, what you would do is you would go to Edit Pokemon Name, you type in and H, first off, you always have to do this, and then the Pokemon's hex. Pidgey's hex is 10, and then you click OK, and now you type in the name. Okay, now scroll down and you will see you edited Pidgey to become Starly. Well done, and thanks for watching.